everyone, it's King Seeker here. Welcome to another ship showcase. Today we're going to be doing a ship showcase of one of Chris Board's ship. Oops, uh, the Linda Lowe. And I'll quick do an overview before we get started into it. Uh, it is a super yacht. I'm pretty sure it is based off of a real world ship. I'm pretty sure I remember him saying that. Um, and yeah, I come on one morning. He's like, oh, we made a giant yacht. And I'm like, what? So I came on and sure enough, they had made, made a bunch of giant yachts all over the place. So, son of a bitch. No. Sorry about that, everyone. Damn, phone's going off. Alright. Either way, let's get back to it. So, we're right here. I I'm not actually sure the deck's numbers. Uh, but you got a lounging area up here. Mooring, uh, I think they're just hooks or lines. Um, that's where you hook the mooring systems to. Here's like a big couch area. Uh, we'll get to the bridge here in a sec. But we're going to run walk back this way. And back here is little jacuzzi spa area, a little bar right there, tables. And we'll go, well, let's go up first. So that way we'll go up, work our way back down. So right up here we have the spa and fitness center, tiny little spa fitness center. Uh, and here we got the master stateroom, big and fancy compared to the rest, which I'll show you guys here in a bit. And then up here it's just kind of, you can stand up top and look over the whole ship. Just kind of look down upon everyone like, oh, yay, this is my ship, kind of thing. So, all right, well, you will walk back this way. And we'll head down the staircase. And we will go downstairs. So right here is kind of like a little TV watching area sitting in the back. Uh, here's, here's another master stateroom. This one's kind of small. This one actually has a bathroom to it, though. Even though that could be a little bit awkward, you got your bathroom and then there's a window right there. But either way, though, we'll keep walking back. Um, down here, we or, so we are on deck three, so why don't we stop off at the bridge. Here is the bridge. Chris Board is apparently the captain of this ship since he built it. I think he'd be like the owner fan, or the person driving the fancy vessel, or riding on the fancy vessel, I should say. He'll just sit here and drive it. The only thing with this bridge is it seems a little bit low, like it's kind of hard to see the bow of the ship. And that's why I'm not too big of a fan of ships with low bows, where it's really hard to see past stuff. Um, so we'll go down here to deck two. Little shelving area right here. Lounge this way. Got the little lounge area. Nothing too faint, fancy. And I think there we missed a door right here, and I think this is just a storage or a bathroom. Yeah, it looks like a bathroom. And let's see here. I believe there's some more to see on this deck. I really wasn't paying attention when he was trying to tell me what everything was. I was too busy watching YouTube. Um, here's the main kitchen. Stateroom. This is what I was going to show you guys is the difference. Is These staterooms are quite a bit smaller. Kind of a little bit tinier versus the big one. And then over here is actually the hallway over to the storage area. It's just a little storage facility. And we will walk our way back as I am starting to lag a little bit. There we go. Alright, we'll keep walking back this way past the bar and downstairs one more time to, I believe, deck one, which has the, I think it's the launching station. Down there is the, I can't remember the nautical term for it, but here I'll show you guys down here. It's it's pretty much the airlock system, like here's the storage area and then these are just big airlocks and then back to where the engine room is, but he didn't put an engine room on here. Um, here's the main dining hall. He, um, right up here is Chris in making food in the kitchen. One of the forward kitchens, more storage up in the, in the forward area. Now Chris closed the door on me. How nice of him. See, I always leave the doors open while I'm, while I'm walking around a ship, and it drives everyone insane, and it is hilarious. Um, up this way, we got the dance floor party room. Party in it up in here. Whoops, it broke a block. Crap. Better fix that. There we go. So now we'll keep walking back. Uh, this is the sauna in here. Little little places to sit, as you probably would make steam in there. Um, another bathroom. And I believe this is another... Oh, no, this is in the stateroom. I'm not actually sure what that room is. And here is the boat bay, where you keep your little boats parked, and Chris is sitting in here, too. So right here, they, you just hold your boats inside. And a lot of times what big fancy yachts have is they have these little boat, boat bays where they'll open them up and then they launch out a boat, which is, you have to have a lot of money to have a yacht with a boat bay. 
like a crazy insane amount of money. But that pretty much shows off this ship, except for one last thing. Which I'm going to go up top, and I'm actually going to show you guys the other two ships that are parked next to her. Here in a sec. This is where you board on onto the ship. This is kind of the lobby area. I forgot to mention that. But here we'll go up here. And I believe it is on this deck. I want to say it is. Oh, yep, it's right here. And right here you have a water slide on it. Which will push the water slide down. Whee! And unfortunately, <laughs> mine carts don't float. So, alright everyone. Um, I'm going to quick pause the video for a second, recatch my breath, and then I'll show you guys the next two ships. Alright everyone, so let's get on, on to the next ships. I just had to quick catch my breath. And then I also had to cough too, and I don't really want to cough on camera. So, uh, I don't know the names of these ships, and these ones are actually pretty small, so these these tours will go quite a bit faster. Um, here are just some kind of basic rooms. These are probably, these yachts are more like single person orientated, where you have like a single family on them, or just a family with, with a guest or something on board. Whereas the Linda Lowe is more of like a big, fancy millionaire's yacht. This is like a half a millionaire yacht. <laughs> but either way, kitchens. And then we'll go up to the top deck here. Here's the bridge on this guy. And I believe these are made by Chris as well. I remember seeing him making them. So yeah, these are by Chris as well. Which he tends to like to do yachts. He has another really cool one that I saw earlier. We'll go up here since I'm not actually sure how to get up here, and I don't, I didn't see a staircase anywhere. But here's the pool up top. Um, up here looks like a crane. I bet you that's for like dropping boats and stuff into the water, since they don't have a boat bay on this one. I might be wrong on that, cause I thought I did see a boat bay. Yep, this one does have a boat bay, but I bet it has like a lifeboat system up there. And then down here is more rooms and stuff of that nature. And I think that's pretty much it for this ship. So. Let's head on over to the last one, which is the smallest of the fleet, which I don't know its name. Which here we got this little one. This is probably like, if you guys, if any of you have a yacht, you'd probably have something similar to this. Which I live by where there's a yacht club near me, and I see tons and tons and tons of these. So there's a little basic driving area. Then you can go down here, and I think I can hear a bat flying around down here. Yep, damn bats. These things drive me insane. I wish I'd just mute just the bat noise, because they drive me insane. Oh, all right. All right, but here's just some more rooms. Usually one or two rooms on these things. I think we'll go back. And then in here is just some storage. Little empty forward area. And that's pretty much it for this yacht. Um, nothing really to show too much. And looks like Chris is fishing off the top of the ship. Yep. Well, everyone, that pretty much concludes this segment uh, of the ship showcase of these three yachts that Chris has made, Linda Lowe, and then the other two, I don't know their names, but he'll probably leave a comment below saying if they have names or not. Um, but yeah, I'd like to thank everyone for watching. If you guys have a ship that you guys have worked hard on and built, send it in to me and I'll showcase it. Um, you can either just PM me on YouTube or send me an email. My email is not that hard to guess. It's just my main username at Gmail, and I put it in a few videos. But other than that, guys, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, comment, rate, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next one.